we have here Storm Over Dien Bien Phu by MMP. Uh, let's see, who's the designer? Nick Richardson. So this is an era impulse game using the Storm Over Stalingrad system. Um, it's an area impulse game. I mean, you activate an area, the chits in that in that area get to do things. Um, in this game, as well as Storm Over Stalingrad, they have to do things together. It's not like um, you know some of the area block games where you activate this area and they can do different things. Um, these have to move or fire as a group. And you don't have to use all of them, but if this group fired, they would go um, all together. This group wouldn't get to do anything. So you're activating a, a group of chits in an area. After they do something, either movement or combat, they flip over to their reduced side. So on the front side we have it's combat, defense, and movement. Uh, it typically costs one to move into an area. It costs an additional uh, if there are, I think it's if it's controlled by the enemy. And then when they're done, they flipped and they have a reduced defense on the back. Uh, when you fire, you're going to add up your attack factors. Roll a die, that adds to the attack. And then it's rolling against the greatest defense in the defender's area. Pretty straightforward game. Uh, the Viet Minh have two additional actions they can do. They can perform sapper actions, engineering actions, basically digging trenches. So we can see here this area has an inherent one defense. Uh, you can dig trenches to increase that. Uh, either using cards. That's a trench factor of one. It will increase the trench by one. There are yeah, two, three, so you can discard the card for the trench, or you can increase the trench one by spending two units. They can also assault. Um, so they would assault into this area, and then if it's left empty at the end of the assault, they, they can move into it. Um, it works similar to combat, but they can get some additional rerolls uh, by sacrificing units and things like that. So they, they did include some more thematic elements um, to model to model this this uh, conflict. The object of the game is to capture victory point spaces, uh, and then also a benefit would be capturing a set of these card spaces. If you have three of these during the draw phase, you get one additional card for each set. So there's a gray set and then a white set up here. It's this one, this one, and that one. So the cards are basically special actions. They, they either um, take your impulse like that. It says for your impulse perform. This is a 10 attack using artillery. Or you can remove all trenches from an adjacent area. Some just modify firepower or modify attacks. So they are special decks. This is for the French. And the red on the bottom is for the Viet Minh. So play's going to go back and forth um, with players moving, firing. Uh, actually, I should mention, so the, the turn is going to last until everyone has spent all of their chips, chits counters units um, so after they've done something if these guys move in here they then flip to their spent side each turn is going to go until all of the units are flipped so that's that's kind of the I go you go thing is you get to use your units um, so you know you can do do small movements like this in the hopes to use these guys later uh, after after the French player has used most of their units up. Um, or the, the turn can end by both players passing in a row, um, which, you know, if all your units are spent, that's, that's basically passing. Uh, what's interesting about this is if the Viet Minh player passes, the French player has to discard one of their cards, not play it, discard it, in order to keep that turn going. So the, the, the Viet Minh player really has the onus. They, 
they're in control of the situation. Um, they can stop the turn, you know, preemptively, making the French burn some of their resources in, in order to continue with whatever push they're trying to do. So the game will continue like that for eight turns. Um, the Viet Minh player needs to capture six of these victory point hexes by the end of that eighth turn for victory, otherwise the French player wins. Uh, one of the things I don't really like about this system is that there isn't an auto victory. Um, it just, it's going to go the eight turns no matter what. Um, you know, some people like that. It's good for competition, um, but I don't really play that way. Um, so it is, it is kind of a detriment for me. So this is one of two games on this, this battle coming out this year. The other one's coming from Legion War Games. Um, it's much more detailed. Um, I played it last week at Consum World Expo. Uh, it's not out quite yet, but um, it's definitely a, a more uh, more of a simulation than this kind of game. Um, this does have a lot of the flavor, though, um, and I think it's going to give a good a good feel for the battle, a good a good taste of what happened. Um, so it's centering around um, Dean Bien Phu is actually a village. It's not what the the base was called um but basically it's centered around this airstrip that the french were trying to hold on to um, these are broken into areas and you can see there's little um, little strong points that the french built that they that they named um, gabrielle's one that they that they built to the north this is north on this map um to kind of the Viet Minh were building up out here so they're stopping stopping them from having an opening that way. Um, they also built a, a fire base out here called Isabella that's not represented on this map. Um, I always like to talk about books about the subject. Um, I am currently reading The Last Valley. You can see I'm that far into this book. I've been reading it for about three weeks. <laughs> um, I guess two weeks. I didn't, I didn't read much at all last week um, being at Consum World. So pretty heavy very in-depth. Um, I'm not even to the battle yet. It's it's more about, or it's, there's another book, um, Hell in a Very Small Place, that just covers the battle. This kind of shows some of the lead-up to it. Um, Martin Windrow. It's a great resource. Uh, the maps in this are good, so a little historical context if you don't know where Dien Bien Phu is. This is this is Vietnam as we know it today. Um, south Vietnam, as it was in the 60s, started here south, uh, and then North Vietnam was here. At this time, it was called Tonkin. Um, there's Anam, or Anam, I don't know how you would pronounce it. They're not considered necessarily separate countries, but kind of more districts. Um, all the Viet Vietnamese kind of considered themselves. Well, I can't really say that, never mind. Uh, and then here is um, what the French called Cochin China, down here. Down here. So most of the fighting during the American Vietnam War was through here. Dien Bien Phu is right there on the border with Laos. So the Viet Minh were trying to build up and continue taking land into Laos to scare the French. Here's a map of this battle. Here's the airstrip. Here's Gabrielle. Here's Isabella down here. So you can see it's not covering all of it, but you can see where most of the conflict happened. Um, there, there was some movement down here, but it w wasn't really important. Uh, it was important, but it's not going to be represented by, by this game. But there's Gabrielle. There's there's this air base. Uh, so this is kind of the main supply center for the French. So I think that's enough about the game. Um, I'll get going playing it. It's I'm not going to show a ton of gameplay because um, it's there's not a lot of story, um, but we'll try to recap as necessary. One special rule is that on turn one, um, the Viet Minh always goes first on the turns. Um, so they could immediately pass, making the French burn a card 
um, which would be interesting. But on turn one, they can do free assaults everywhere. Uh, I mentioned the assault earlier. You have to assault out of a three level trench, uh, like this area, which is controlled by the French currently. But So it's kind of a way for the Viet Minh to make a push up front, um, which will probably happen here. We'll try to assault in here. Um, the Viet Minh are trying to capture as much as they can early, I think. Um, they also seem to have more units on the board. They're not as spread out, but you know a lot of these French spaces have one. Uh, and even on turn one, the reinforcements are going to come in. You can see that's the discrepancy there. Here's the French on turn three. So the the Viet Minh definitely have the numbers advantage. I don't think they're quite as strong. You can see even just here. One against a two and an eight against a nine. Um, they're also more mobile. But it's going to be a bloody battle for the Viet Minh trying to push the French out. Uh, which historically they did. Um, but it was a bit of a, a meat grinder for the, for the Viet Minh. They just threw, threw bodies into the battle. Um, as, a, as an expendable resource. So let's look at an assault. Um, it basically works like a regular combat in that the attacker is going to add up their attack points, in this case four. You're going to roll 1d6. They get that, that added to their, to their attack, and then it's rolling against the highest defense in the area. This guy should be face up. I've been tinkering. Um, so in a regular fire, if this were the situation, this unit would get the defensive terrain. That doesn't take place for assaults. Um, also, you don't get this if um, if this unit has fired, they don't get the, the defensive terrain modifier. And then there are also cards that will modify the roll by adding to it. So let's try this here for this Knight Assault. It's 3 plus 4. We're at 7 already, so they're automatically going to take one step. Actually, we want to use this here. We're at 2, 4. It's 8 there against 7. Because we, we want that space. So it's going to be what did we say? 10 against 7, 2, 4. 8 against 7, plus 3. So we're already at 11. 12, 13. So that's 5 steps they need to take. So that's 4 right there. They can retreat 1 for 5. Doing something like that. So that stops the assault from happening, or that from being successful, they don't get to come in here. These guys are all spent now. And in an assault, one unit, because it was so bloody, automatically gets eliminated. And I'll track those here. So that's one impulse. So now the French get to go. And the Viet Minh back and forth.